Hi, Henry. Hi, Violet. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. Getting older every minute. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd uh, do a picture today. I, you know, and okay. it's called the rose bush. Okay, you don't have to worry about it because it doesn't even have to look like a rose bush. We, we just call it that, you know. So first, I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine that you are a flower bush, any kind of flower bush. And um, notice where you are. Notice if there are other flower bushes or other trees or bushes around you, or if you're by yourself. Um, okay. Notice if you have flowers, if you have flowers of different colors or maybe nothing. Notice if you have thorns. And, um, so at some point, what we're going to do is do a little process with it. But meanwhile, I'd like you to draw your rose bush and wherever, put it wherever you want, you know, like a little scene. You know, it doesn't have to be your best to be, you know, just so we know a little bit what it is. You, you'll be able to explain. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize you were left-handed. Mm -hmm. I am too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll just put it on here. Okay. Maybe. Okay. So, t uh, what I'd like you to do is tell me about yourself. Like you are the rose bush. So you say, "I am a rose bush," and then we'll go from there. I'm a rose bush. I have petals surrounding me, like mm -hmm. these petals. I ah. have a stem underneath me. I have some leaves next to me. Uh, a couple thorns around me also. And where are you? Um, I'm in a garden with the wind blowing by me, with a bunch of other flowers uh -huh. near me. Uh -huh. Are you near a house? Uh, there's a house uh, across the way, but there's a bunch of grass in between uh -huh. the rose bush and the house. So I can really see your rose bush. Okay, so what are these things? Uh, those black things are the thorns. On thorns. The roses. Uh -huh. Okay. And these are the flowers? Yeah. Yeah. Are they different colors or are they this one color? Uh, they're all red, but some are darker shades. Oh. Okay. So you're with a lot of other flowers? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you talk to them? I mean, are you friends with them? Uh, yeah, I'm friends with them. Uh, yeah. We talk sometimes. Yeah. So uh, how does it feel to be a rose bush? Pretty fun because it's fun to be in the wind. It's fun to be surrounded by other flowers that I can talk to. Flowers to talk to. What do you talk about? Um, we talk about what it's like to live in the garden. Ah. What it's like to be a flower, what it, we think of the people that are near us when they come by and look at us. Uh -huh. And when people come by, they look at you. I mean, are you facing a sidewalk or? Uh, yeah, we are facing a sidewalk. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody ever pick you? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Is that okay? No, we don't like that you very don't like much. That. <laughs> you said you're with other in your life. 
you are with other people. People, so you're not alone. Yeah. Okay, and then you said that all oh, the thorns. You have thorns. Do you? What would thorns be for you? If um, you had? Well, I think everyone has a bit of a dark side, maybe a bit of a grumpy side at times. Um, I definitely have one at times. Um, I think those would be my thorns. If I ever make snarky comments to people if I'm in a bad mood, those would be my thorns. Uh -huh. And so, like, if I came near you, I'd probably stick myself on one of your thorns. Um, or do only you, at times. Not you always. choose who you want to Yeah. <laughs> be thorny with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You said you had a different, a red flower, red flowers. Does that remind you of anything? Um, when I think of red flowers, I think of something that's sacred and pure and something that needs to be protected. Say that again. Something that's sacred and pure and huh. that needs to be protected, maybe innocent. Do you feel that way about yourself? Um, well, I connect that to me growing up and maybe losing my innocence a bit. Oh. Okay. Who takes care of you? The gardeners, okay. when they come. Yeah. And they take good care. Yeah, they do. Because you look nice. Mm -hmm. Like you get good care. Yeah. How does that fit for you? Um, well, I definitely have good parents who take good care of me. I have supportive friends who take good care of me. Um, my siblings take good care of me, my cousins, my aunts and uncles. You have a lot of people that take good care of you. For yeah. sure. Oh, nice. It's, you deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what else did you say here? I talked about what it's like feeling like a flower and how people can pick your petals a bit. They can pick your petals, pick apart your flower. Yeah. With other people. Um, I think I can relate to that at times when I feel taken advantage of a bit. Whether that's school or people ask me for help with homework or um, just toxic friendships, things like that. Um, a lot about you fits this rose bush. Yeah. That you never thought of that before, that you were. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> a rose bush, flower bush, we say. Oh, I know what I forgot to ask you. Do you have roots? I don't see any roots. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't include any roots in the drawing, but I think, I guess at times I feel like I just have a stem and my roots aren't that obvious, but I think I do have them. Maybe I don't share them with people as much as I should. Huh. So what would roots be for you? Um, I guess the way that I was raised my support system yeah. and the most like private things about me maybe that I don't share a lot of people. Yeah. The things that like keep me standing. So even though we can't see them, they're there. Mm -hmm. For sure. That's what you said, yeah. And, uh, okay. So you must have good soil. Yes. Yeah, because it's growing and all. So what would good soil be for you? Um, good soil would probably be, I would say, a lot of my friends who yeah. are there to support me and yeah. also just have fun with and keep me happy. Well, is there anything else about this rose bush that you think of that I didn't? No, I think we covered everything. Covered it pretty well. Did you ever and ever imagine you were a rose bush no but i think thinking of me from the perspective of a rose bush taught me a lot of things about myself that i wouldn't have thought about before yeah. for sure it's called a projection mm -hmm. it's like you project yourself onto the rose bush right when you don't even be aware or conscious of doing it yeah yeah well I think that's great. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.